What's going on guys, 2SFM here, taking a look at a strong and unique team for the Open Ultra League. When Open Ultra League was coming back, I definitely wanted to try out Annihilate. However, that's not even going to be my MVP on this team, though it has put in a ton of work. On the lead, I am leading Annihilate, but my safe swap, that's where the money is, and that is going to be Reggie Rock running Stone Edge and Zap Cannon. Now, I'll admit, when Polyrath came to be meta, I thought that Regirock was done, but with Zap Cannon, it actually wins the zero. So you're gonna be able to grab a shield advantage and then you're gonna be able to align your Annihilate on this Polyrath or even better, Jellicent. So yes, I am running ABA Ghost, um, but Annihilate and Jellicent don't really have shared weaknesses besides being weak to Ghost and both can nuke other Ghost types. So not gonna talk too much. Let's go ahead and get on into some of these battles. Uh, I have been able to, of course, climb with this team. I've been running it off and on for a few days now. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, all right, so Glass Score lead. You would think it's a little bit of a core breaker, but Red Rock does beat it. And we are able to lure out a Toxic Croak. Now, Toxic Croak, you would think, is probably the hardest wall of a fighter since it has a ground type charge move that it gets to very quickly. However, you can see that Zap Cannon already puts this Toxic Croak into the red after the lock on. So we're going to be able to tank this Mud Bomb and get this stone edge off. And again, we're going to be able to grab a shield from the fighting type. Perfect, that's really all I need. Now I do have to keep in mind that Toxic Rogue did get access to Shadow Ball in the season update. So I will go ahead and throw up a shield right here. Knowing Annihilate with energy is pretty good against anything anyways. Um, so I will happily take this farm down. They did just throw Mud Bomb. Maybe they're not running Shadow Ball. Maybe it was a bait just so they could get some chip damage with this next Mud Bomb, not really sure. Now they're going to come back in with the Gly score, and we have a double super effective Ice Punch that we could throw into this thing. It does massive damage, it definitely puts it into Surf Range from this Jellicent, and they're staying in when I bring in the Jellicent, which is very interesting. Whereas Gly score has access to Night Slash, and they are running it, they'll be able to spam it out very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and tank the second one because they will be able to outpace to a third one, and there's a chance they get a boost on the second one. In the back, going to be the Polyrath, so they are running. ABB fighters and I have ABA ghosts so this is a great situation to be in. We actually pull the shield with the first shadow ball and one scald will not KO my Jellicent from here so I am going to actually let this come through. Uh, I'm going to wait to see if I get the attack drop. I don't so I'm going to go ahead and dump this next shadow ball. I'll have some residual uh, energy but not enough for a surf. I think Annihilate can just clean up from here. I don't think they quite built to the second scald so I do decide to no shield this. Uh, it is just going to be the Icy Wind. And now all I have to do is build to the back-to-back -back Ice Punches, throw one on the CMP into this Polyrath. Even though I am debuffed, it should be enough to take out. And one more into this Goliath Score. So yeah, and I leave actually taking out the Goliath Score uh, and honestly taking out all three Pokemon here. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's definitely put in work. I don't want to undersell it because of I've been loving Regirock. It's been great, it's been great. Uh, all right, Tapu Fini lead. This is a lead that I knew would be a little bit tricky for my team. Uh, I might as well go ahead and take talk about some of the core breakers for the team. Uh, Jailson on the lead is tough. Uh, Fairies on the lead, particularly Clefable. I don't think that I beat Clefable. I think I beat most other fairy types. Um, Tapu Fini, so far they've all shielded the first one and they've all gone surf. So I just like to play out the zeros in that fashion. We throw the Ice Punch, grab their shield, and then we throw the Shadow Boss. Now, I could get Switch if I wanted to, but they actually hard swap into Charizard, and man, do we have a hard answer for Charizard. Resisting everything except for the Dragon Claws, Regirock tanks that Blast Burn like it's absolutely nothing, and now we're going to be able to get this Stone Edge off. Regirock is so incredibly quick as well that we already almost have another Stone Edge, and we can fire this into the Tapu Fini. If they want to do any kind of meaningful damage with this Tapu Fini, they have to throw up a shield and the Tapu is like in lock on down range. So honestly, I could just shield here and I, yeah, I just lock on down. Uh, so I'm going to do just that. It seems like they don't want to see this ready rock. We get the lock on down and we don't even see what's in the back. Um, so yeah, GG's well played. Uh, Tapu Fini, not too bad. I do like to bait there. So, um, you know, yeah, hopefully your opponents play it the same way I, I do. I can't really guarantee it. There are a few things that I will safe swap Jellicent. Um, I would say Red Rock is my primary safe swap. Uh, but the ghost types, uh, a lot of times I will. Uh, particularly 
um, or I guess I should say Dragon types I do because Dragonite I do and Giratina I do because of all the Giratinas right now are running um, Shadow Sneak. Nobody's really running Ancient Power anymore. So that makes it a pretty bad matchup for Jellicent. You'd rather have your Regirock on that Giratina. So here we do lure out a Glissopod. We're going to be able to get this Shadow Ball off, which would threaten their final shield. And of course, they do get the farm down. Now I'm going to come back in with Annihilate. Glissopod is somewhat of a core breaker right like you just saw like jellison's able to pull a shield there obviously reggie rock on even energy is great into it and then an eye leap up energy can handle it because the arrow ace you just saw like it's it's not that bad we're gonna just throw this ice punch get rid of this thing and hope that reggie rock up a shield can handle what's in the back out comes the tapu fini and yeah, again this is why i'm running zap cannon there's a lot of water types out there right now and not many of them are Swampert. <laughs> Occasionally, yeah, you see the Swampert. Uh, but mostly it's Polyrath and it's Tapu Fini. So Zap Cannon, able to grab the final shield. We're going to safely shield up this Surf. We have two shields, right? Um, this is the reason that we saved two shields for our Regirock. Now I can over farm to 100 energy. And again, we are just going to flex on them with how quick Regirock is. Going to get the Zap Cannon off, take out the Tapu Fini, out comes the Dragonite. Dragonite's not even getting off a single move in this battle. Are you kidding me? Uh, Red Rock, going to make it to the Stone Edge. And that one shot, that's GG's well played. All right, jumping into the next one. Nihilate up against a Skeleton Dirge lead. Um, so, again, like Ghost types, I do normally safe swap Jealousy. You could argue to just go Red Rock there, but if they farm up energy before dipping, then Jellicent's going to really struggle. They also blind swapped here, which was strange to me. Um, obviously, I'd rather have Regirock on this Glissopod, but we've already seen at least I can grab a shield here with the Jellicent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat this next Aero Ace. I might be able to make it to two Surfs here. I think I can make it to two Surfs if I want to go that way, which would make it easier for Annihilate to counter down. I decided to go for the Shadow Ball to ensure I grab the shield. Um, it kind of seemed like... This is just bait anyway, so I didn't know if they would protect it. They do. That's fine. We're going to be able to eat this arrow ace. No big deal. Second one does start to become threatening, but it's not yet. And I'm thinking I can get a couple more counters in and then maybe lock on this down. Yeah, so what I, what I wanted was to have the Shadow Ball banked, but I recognized that I wasn't going to be able to do that. So I do end up dipping out one counter early. If I need to get a Shadow Ball off on that Skeledurge, I always get that counter for free anyways. So I'll always get that Shadow Ball. Instead, they're actually going to come out with a uh, Tentacle. And again, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's so much water right now. Um, the, these Zap Cannons are just great. They're great. Um... And there's also a lot of fire. So that's the reason I think Reggie Rock right now is as good, if not better, than Reggie Steel. Uh, you don't see a ton of Reggie Steel right now. But yeah, Reggie Rock's able to put in so much work right now. Anyway, we're going to be able to get this next Stone Edge off against the Skeledurge. Again, if they throw up the shield, I can pivot here and get the, sh um, what is it? the Shadow Ball off. I do go ahead and use my shield here first. Yeah, I think I just recognized that Regirock can just finish this itself. Um, so we're going to do just that. We're going to go ahead and just get this Stone Edge off. I should be able to survive the Poison Jabs here. Yeah, I definitely made it closer than than I should have. I should have swapped and, and just got the Shadow Ball off. Uh, but this works too. Anyways, GG's well played. Jumping into the next one. We got an Annihilate up against another Shadow Dragonite. Uh, so we'll see if I play this one the same. I do. I come in Jellicent. Um, now my opponent plays it differently. They do stay in. And they make this really nice catch on Reggie still. It's a pretty obvious catch. I shouldn't be throwing immediately. Like there's no benefit in me throwing immediately. It's not like one Dragon Claw was going to KO me anyways. Um, luckily, it's a Reggie still and not like a Greedent. Uh, so it still is the move that I would want to throw. They get the second one. Yes, I could shield and fight for switch here. But... If Regirox is down shields and that Dragonite has energy, it's just no good. We're just going to get super powered and it's going to basically one shot my Regirox. It, it does so much damage. Um, so instead, I'm going to come with Annihilate and we're going to take this counter down. Knowing that if I have an Ice Punch on Annihilate, I can nuke that Dragonite. And same thing with Regirox. Since they did stay in and build up energy with their Dragonite, I knew Switchcocks were misaligned. I'm able to take advantage 
of that and get the lock on down with my Regirock, leave with a Stone Edge ready to go so they did not want to come back in with their Dragonite, and instead we see Jellicent. Now Regirock, bulky enough to be able to tank one Surf. Uh, actually, we can tank a second one. Not very well, but we would survive. Now we definitely get Dragon Breath down. So I'm going to go for the Stone Edge here. We do grab the Shield right there. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like, just nobody understands how quick these stone edges are. Every time I run Reggie Rock, it always like it's it's always like this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I used to love Reggie Rock. I, I put it on the bench for a long time, and I am so glad that I brought it back out. Anyways, Ice Punch number one coming through for this Dragonite. Yeah, they have energy, uh, but they're not going to be able to make it to a third Dragon Claw here. And that's gonna be a GG's. This Ice One should be plenty to take out a Shadow Dragonite. Let's go. All right, jumping into the next one. We have Annihilate up against a Talonflame lead. So we have two very strong answers for Talonflame in the back. Um, so I come in Jellicent here. I, um, I think against most Talonflames, I've been going Regirock. Regirock, obviously the harder answer. No, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking clear right now. If they're running fly, then Talonflame can really put up against a fight against Jellicent because you need to land two surfs and two flies plus an incinerate basically take out Jellicent anyways. So yeah, Jellicent is the safe swap against um against Talonflames. 100 percent 100 percent So uh yeah. Anyways, they come out with a Virizion. And I mean that's fine. I'd I'd much rather see that on Jellicent. We were able to grab a shield with the Jellicent, and now we come in with the Annihilate. Grizion's actually not bad in this meta either. Like, I was looking at Sims uh, of this against Annihilate, because I thought that Annihilate would be the problem for it. And, I mean, you see it right here. Like, <laughs> I don't get the counter down, but I end up giving up a shield. I have energy, so I can be able to nuke. I can nuke something later on, um, so I I'm fine with it. I'm going to go ahead and do two more counters there, and then I'm going to come in with my Reggie Rock so I have even more energy. In the back, they have a Greedon. I don't have Focus Blast. I can act like I have Focus Blast, but really what I'm looking for here is the attack drop, which we don't get. Um, so I do go for the Zap Cannon, the first one. Looks like two Zap Cannons won't KO, so really I need to land two more Stone Edges now. But I also kind of want to look for that attack drop, so I'm kind of torn here. I'm like, which one, which move should I be going for? They get the defense drop, and that kind of solidifies in my mind. Like, oh, I probably need the attack drop now. So we're gonna go for the zap cannon. It does pull the shield, and then we do get the attack drop now. Um, awkward thing about annihilate is it doesn't have anything that hits Greedent very hard unless you're running close combat. I end up staying in here. Uh, I'm gonna go for the zap cannon. Is this enough to take out at this point? It's not. It's not. So we go for the snipe. We get the snipe with Annihilate. Uh, out comes this Talonflame. Talonflame is at a move right here. Uh, but I should be able to get the Shadow Ball off plus the Ice Punch. Notice I did two counters in there. Make sure I get as much damage from the counters as possible. Uh, and I was like, I was so confident here that this Ice Punch was just going to KO. Um, now they're not at two moves. Like they were just barely at that Flame Charge. So no matter what, I'm fine. I almost stopped having here though. <laughs> uh, we get we get the counter down there, and that's the GG's. Yeah, Ice Punch just it really doesn't hit hard unless it hits for super effective. All right, and I leave Mirror Lead. Um, definitely a tricky one. It, I mean, it's one that like if you land the Shadow Ball, you win. If they call your bait, you kind of lose. So I figure most people are going to be baiting here. If I call it. <laughs> this is an extremely risky call, but I would be able to put Jellicent on this thing. Um, if I got it wrong, so I'd still be able to like take it out fairly easily. Yeah, it was definitely risky. We do call it right. They do have Night Slash as well, so it's a good thing there we made the call. Otherwise, they'd just be straight up outpacing us. Now I can go straight Shadow Ball. I did wait a turn right there to make sure they weren't going to catch Shadow Ball. Going to be pulling the second shield. Uh, and at this point, I might as well throw up my second shield as well. Go ahead and get this thing out of here. They do go for the Night Slash again. No big deal. If they would have boosted on that Night Slash, maybe it would have been a big deal. Maybe a boosted Night Slash would be enough to take out my Annihilate. Kind of crazy that I've taken that much damage from just counters and one Night Slash. But uh, yeah, we end up winning Switch here. They come out with Galissabon. I do think I misplay this one. Um, I came in with my hard answer, right? With Reggie Rock, I should have came in Jellicent. And they ended up making a really beautiful catch on their Reggie still here. But that's kind of what I need anyways, because of I don't want this Reggie still on my uh, Jellicent. 
We're going to go ahead and get this Zap Cannon off. Or the Focus Blast does not KO Reggie Rock. Um, yeah, I mean, in fact, now a second Zap Cannon is going to basically KO this Reggie still. So they're definitely going to have to throw. They can't really over farm too much. Uh, uh, but assuming that they did farm up to 100, I could do five counters. And then I would have to throw energy. They instead pivot, and I'm able to get this catch. I thought I caught Arrow Ace. Instead, I caught Liquidation. Maybe they're running um, x -Scissor. They get the defense drop on the first one, and I'm like, oh, man. That probably cost me the game, right? And then there's the Arrow Ace. Like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm at this point, I was 100%. I was like, man, that defense drop, that... The game's over. The game's over, right? Uh, this Gullis Fudge is going to sweep. But no, I mean, Jellison's just... It's... it's <laughs> Gullis Fudge is just not that hard of a Jellison answer when shields are gone. So we're going to be able to get this Surf off here, which just forces them to throw energy. They don't have two moves. Um, and that should be the game right there. Yep, I just counted that down. I'm only one counter away from the Shadow Ball. And my opponent sees the writing on the wall. Um, so that's going to be GG's well played to my opponent. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's feature. If you plan on running this team, let me know. If you have any questions about the team, let me know in the comments down below. I'll, I'll be trying to get to as many comments as possible. My camera froze. Oh, hey, I'm back. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll be trying to get to as many comments as possible. So if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. And thank you to my channel members. I can't forget y'all. Y'all are y'all are. Y'all are the goats. Uh, anyways, until next time, this is Joseph and reminding you to always keep pushing forward.